Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this... Today's matchup, we've got a pair of running backs who are hoping for plenty of touches on their way. It's Ellington's Cardinals going up against Rockies Buccaneers. So now let's go to Glendale, Arizona, where Jim and Phil have the call. Buccaneers, Cardinals on EA Sports. We welcome you to Glendale, Arizona for today's game. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, partner. Look forward to sharing a very special afternoon with you. Yeah, thank you, Jim. Uh, we look forward to sharing it with you, too. This should be a special game. I know the fans are excited about it. Talk radio all week long. All they talked about was this game because we have special players and some coaches that are two of the best in the NFL. Uh, I'm excited about the game. The Buccaneers are back deep, waiting for the kick return. The Cardinals ready here for the kickoff. This game has officially begun. And he'll start his return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. So the rookie quarterback will take the field, trying to improve week by week. Well, he, he's getting some experience. It's not a lot. But it's enough to help him feel more comfortable and I think play better. He should do well here today. Martin is in the backfield. First down at the 29. Campbell's all over that offense and brings him down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down now. Drop back, shotgun formation. Martin has the reception. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Third down on the way. Martin. Lines up in the backfield. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Safarian Jenkins in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. We're back after the injury timeout, and Danielle Bellini will have the update on the injury in just a moment. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. The Buccaneers will punt the football away. Peterson's going to look for space now. That's a gain of six. Six. 
One of the great arms in the league. Number three, quarterback Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer now with the Arizona Cardinals. Look, Bruce Arians loves to throw the football down the field. And what's the greatest streak Carson Palmer has? Throw the football down the field. Palmer's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. First down at the 21. Ellington is tackled down. Let's set the lineups for the offense. A very speedy running back out of Clemson, Andre Ellington. How many fast players have come out of Clemson? And the answer is a lot. Andre Ellington, what a wonderful year he had as a rookie. The Buccaneers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Second and ten. On the receiving end, it's Fitzgerald. Good job by the receiver running into that defense through the zone, finding the open space and making a nice catch. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Let's go, let's go. Blue 58. Blue 58. And it's going to be dropped for the sack, and they're going to be punting after a short series. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. The Cardinals will punt the football. This punt will be returned. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. The Buccaneers offense will try to buck the trend here as now we'll see if the punting units can stay on the sideline for a little while because defense has been the order of the day here, Phil. Well, Jim, listen. This has been kind of refreshing. I love it that the defenses are dominating. I'm sick of all these rules on the offensive side. So defenses take advantage of this and Keep on rocking. The Cardinals will come out in the dime. First down at the 35. Evans got the catch and the first. That's his first reception today. Well, he's got talent. This receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way. And I think his talent... The way offenses are designed and the rules of the NFL, it makes guys like him almost unstoppable. First down and 10. Lewis Murphy Jr. is the receiver. No three and out to start this one. An early first down to move the chains. Good job by the offensive players executing the play call, and they pick up a big first down. Coming to the line at the 36-yard line. First down at the 36. Martin's going to get it from the eye. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Loss of three on the play. This will be second down. Go, 
The Cardinals with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Martin up the middle. One player will be watching on the outside today as Mike Evans. Well, when you see Mike Evans, if you told me he was a defensive end, I'd say, wow, that's a good-sized defensive end. He is big, fast, and, man, was he an impact player in 2014. The Buccaneers are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Takes it from the gun. Vincent Jackson on the pass is intercepted. Patrick Peterson, they could just put him out there and say, you got that guy, we're not going to worry about you. And he takes care of it. Nice interception. The Buccaneers defense would like to repeat what it did the last drive. Not being out there too long, just three plays forcing a punt. Well, they're going back out there. They're fresh, man. And the defensive line, the defensive front, they were awesome. That's why they got off the field so quickly. First down now in a dangerous spot here. Leach is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Ellington's going to take the handoff now. That picks up 11. Andre Ellington has the speed to get it done at the running back position in the NFL. He showed that speed that time and picked up a good first down. The Buccaneers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Snap it out of the gun. Scans the field. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. As we showcase the defensive starters, take a look at Alteron Werner, one of the smartest players in the league, a graduate in four years out of UCLA. Smart and tough. That'll take you a long way in the NFL. And Werner is a tough guy on the outside. You'd love any defensive back to play as tough as he does. Let's go, let's go. Palmer's got it in the gun. Floyd had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. On the offensive side, if it's third and long, there's very few plays that you have that are going to pick this up. So be careful in a situation like this. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Here we go. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Gresham's going to pull in the bullet pass. Right in on the tackle. The Cardinals on their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. First down coming up. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. Leeches a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. He's got a little bit of daylight here. And it's McDonald there to meet him. Well, you can't knock them all down, and sometimes the running back has just got to break a tackle. Good job that time. It'll be third down. Standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Going for the home run. 
He caught it. That's his first reception today. Carson Palmer still showing that he can get it done after all these years. Yeah, but he came out of USC. They call it the Jugs Machine. By that, they meant he throws perfect spirals and he can throw it anywhere he wants. And Carson Palmer still has plenty of arm to make big plays. Here's the first snap after the big play. Midway through the first. And that's a two-yard game. Ellington's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Coming to the line at the 19-yard line. Carson Palmer takes a look now from under center. Second down and eight. They hand it off to him again. In the end, it picks up only a yard. He's averaging about three yards to carry on the day. Ellington's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Third down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Palmer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the catch inbound. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is good. That field goal gives them a leg up here midway through the first quarter. Makes you feel really good about what you did during the week here. Anytime you can get points on the board early in a football game, it makes you think all oh, that practice was worth it. Cardinals getting set for the kickoff. Takes it from the four, and here we go. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Cardinals' defense was in the takeaway business the last time on the field with the interception at the end of a long drive. That's what happens when you're an aggressive defense. You just go out there, you keep playing hard, you go for it, and when you get a chance to make a play, they got that chance, and they took advantage of it. The Cardinals with a nickel look here on defense. The Buccaneers take it from the 28. Launches it down the field. Comes down with no. The defender tips it out. Patrick Peterson is a player who can win games for you in so many different ways. Boy, can he ever. you got to look out anytime he's on the field. Make sure you don't kick the football towards him. And you always have to be alert for him on the defensive side. When he gets an interception or a turnover, he can take it all the way to the house. Martin is in the backfield. The Buccaneers take it from the 28. It's wide open. Gains 17. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First down at the 45. And off out of the eye. Picks up about five. 
Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Coming to the line right at the 50. Let's go. Out of the shotgun formation. Evans with the reception. That's another reception. Give him two. How about the way he always locks in and concentrates on the catch? Man, he's got hands like glue. When you shake his hand, he can break yours because that's how strong they are. So not surprised to see him just reach out and just snatch the football out of the air. The Buccaneers snap it at the 41. Got a big lane. Gains 15. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Martin's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Out of the gun. Jackson's got it. And a first. Hard to play man-to-man -man against such a quality receiver. You kind of mix up the coverage. You play straight man-to-man, -man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. From the red zone. Sims lined up as the single back. First down at the 15. to the line at the 15. Second down and 10. Had it, but dropped it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Now, looking at third down. The Cardinals' defense now is going to go nickel. They'll go shotgun here. Scanning the field. The Buccaneers will look to tie the game up on this field goal drive. for three we're getting close to the second quarter and the field goal has tied the game yeah these teams are starting to loosen up you know I like that get over those nerves that sometimes you have early in the game hey this thing's gonna be a barn burner The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. Johnson's going to start his return. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that 
return. The Cardinals bring their offense back onto the field. A long drive the last time they had it, but they got only three. Well, here's what they got out of that long drive, too, that you talked about. I know it was just a field goal, but they tired the defense out. Now they got to take advantage of the fact that that defense is tired and look for some strikes down the field. But that defense today looks like a bend but don't break kind of defense. Yeah, that's kind of their style, isn't it? They like to play that way, and that's why it's always important on the offensive side when you get in position, look for that big play down the field to get in that end zone and don't keep trying to drive it five yards at a time. And it's knocked down. Second down coming up. Ellington lined up as the single back. It's Gresham. The tackle's made and the first down is picked up. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch and you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember... They're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. The Buccaneers go with the dime formation here on defense. The Cardinals have it at the 44. Ellington inside. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Ellington's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Leach is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Ellington's got it on the handle. Taken down at the 39. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and four following the run. Palmer by himself in the backfield. From the shotgun. Underneath and incomplete that time. It's third down coming up. The Cardinals need to get to the 35 to pick up a first. Palmer's back in shotgun formation. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. Johnson's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. This punt will not be returned. It will never see the field to play as it sails out of bounds. The Cardinals' defense starts this series knowing the last time they were out here, they allowed a field goal. Yeah, it was not a good drive for them, and I know the coaches were upset. I was watching them on the sideline yelling at a few guys, so I expect a better effort this time out. The Buccaneers with an empty backfield look here. First down at the 15. Mike Evans has the catch. Good yardage picked up on that call. 
Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented. And every time the football is thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. Martin Solo back set. First down at the 30. Vincent Jackson has the reception. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. The pass play picks up only two, so now it's second down and eight following the completion. Doug Martin carries the football. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Martin's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. The Cardinals sat at the line. Dime package. From the shotgun. Jackson's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. Jim, when you see these out routes thrown and caught, it's all about timing and rhythm. The quarterback, he has both. That throw is right on target. Nice throw and kick. quarter and it's the defenses that are shining we're all tied up back after this back here to start quarter two we are deadlocked right now in a game that has seen its fair share of defense yeah it's kind of fun to watch isn't it i love defenses when they come out and they just establish the line of scrimmage and beat the offense up that's what we've seen so far and i think it's going to continue For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Almost intercepted that time. Solo back set. Let's go. Right to the end. Hey. Second and ten. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. And now we'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Martin's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down here after the run. The Cardinals lined up in the nickel. Get ready. Fire you. Fire. From the gun. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second down after the incompletion. Doug Martin. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Martin's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. the run it's now third and seven and Murphy makes the catch Murphy 
He's tackled right at the 20. Quarterbacks love play action passes, especially on first down, because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Staying with the passing game on first down. Makes the reception. That's his first reception today. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. The long drive continues. The Cardinals come out in a dime package. First and goal from the 10. Finds his mark. Sims is met after a gain of eight. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Second and goal from the two. Here's the handoff and no running. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. This has been a long drive so far. Third and goal from the two. Touchdown, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Early in the second quarter, and they've staked themselves to the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, listen, don't start looking at that scoreboard, though. It's too early in the game. You just got to keep playing. Don't worry about winning and losing, but it's nice to be on top. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. Makes the PAT. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. Johnson's got it on the return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Here's Levante David ready to lead this defense back into action. He's been the leader for them in what's been a terrific defensive effort up to this point, partner. And you know what he does? He brings energy to the defense. There's no question about that. And I love the way he plays. It just rubs off on all of his teammates. The Cardinals line up. Been a tight first half. The score's 10-3. Let's go, let's go. Blue 58. First down at the 24. Ellington looking out wide. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Second down and three following that nice run. 
Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. Throws the pass. Ellington's got the catch and the first. Palmer selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. First down, offense reading for the snap. Leach is playing out of position in the backfield here. Ellington's handed the football. Moore's the one who made the big stop. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Cardinals Let's come go. out Let's and a go. bunch Let's set. The Cardinals have it at the 34. Palmer's pass will go for an incompletion this time. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Here we go. And they're all over him for the sack. Another third down stop right there and into the second quarter of play now. We really haven't seen this offense on track quite yet. Yeah, let's give all the credit to the defense. I like how they're playing on the defensive side. They're, the defensive coordinator is making good calls and they are making it happen. They're set to punt it away now. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. Games 16. The Buccaneers love this type of play. Of course, everybody would. If you get a good punt return, that's what you want. And, of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt returner back there. And Evans has been tearing this secondary to pieces so far. And he's headed back out there to see if he can do a little bit more of the same. Listen, he's one of the best in the NFL. And he's having an incredible day out here so far. Taking advantage of situations and showing everybody how talented he really is. The Buccaneers lined up. Everybody split out wide. First down at the 40. Easy catch there. No one near him. That's reception number two for him. Well, it's not quite a first down, but a good read, good throw, good catch. Well, a lot of good there, isn't it, Jim? But nice job by the offense. Now they got second and short. Look out. Who knows what the next play is going to be? Pass complete but did not get them the first so it's second down now Let's go. surveys makes the play well it's a big game by the offense and that's what this league is about we talk about so many things all oh, play good defense don't turn it over but it's about big plays. you got to take chances down the field. The quarterback was willing to do it that time, and he made it happen. After the long game, let's see what they do here. the gut here. Martin's tackled down after a gain of five. Martin's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. 
second down coming up. To the ground. Breaks the plane, and he's got the touchdown. They're doing a terrific job of keeping the pressure on here in the second quarter. Yeah, they have kept the pressure on. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, sometimes players can't make a play because they just don't have the confidence. Now it's up to the coach. Change those calls on the defensive side. Maybe find something that works and give your players some confidence. The Buccaneers line up now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. Evans probably ready to get right back on the field after that last drive. A drive in which he contributed over 40 yards receiving, helping the team score. Buccaneers setting up for the kickoff. Johnson's got a chance for a return. And there is Levante David. Their defense has had a lot to do with them getting out to this lead, and he's been the one setting the tone, Phil. Yeah, Jim, I love the way he plays. He's had a terrific day so far. His toughness, I think that's his greatest quality. The Buccaneers will come out in the dime. First down at the 40. And the catch is made by Larry Fitzgerald. That's reception number two for him. You need balance in the NFL. That's what it's all about. Why do you want balance? To keep the defense guessing what's coming next. That play call on first down throw. A nice throw and catch just short of the first down. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Let's go, let's go. Blue 58. Blue From the gun. Got a flag down here. Gresham's brought down after picking up 11 on this play. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. After the penalty, it's second down and 12. Side. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. The Cardinals need to get to the 50 for a first down. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 40. Michael Floyd pulls it in. The post route, deep down the field, going towards the goal post. It's not caught enough in this league. Nice throw by the quarterback.
It's first down as they head to the line. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Quick drop back. And it's complete to Gresham. Burners, the one who brings him to the ground. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. Palmer's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Double tight end formation. First down at the 27. Gains 11. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Ellington's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The line of scrimmage is the 16. Here we go. Why 18? Why 18? Now first and 10. He'll get it again. Ellington is tackled down. Ellington's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second and seven on the way. Get ready. Why? 18. Why? Just a quick drop back. Locked in on the touchdown. And that'll close the gap in this one. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Arizona Cardinals for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. The Buccaneers are about to have the football kick their way. Their lead has been trimmed. The scores 17 to 10. Now ready to kick the football down the field. He's got a chance to return this one. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. And Evans has really been the centerpiece of this offense here in the first half as he gets out there now to start another drive. Well, you know what? He is the star wide receiver. There's no doubt about that. And when you're the star wide receiver, what is the job of the offensive coordinator? Find ways to get him the football, and they have done that here today. Cardinals defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. First down at the 22. Off the right side, Martin. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time. Stopping the outside run for no gain. Coming up, second down. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. That's his fifth catch of the day. The Buccaneers understand. Just get whatever yards you can every time you run a play. That's what they do that time. 
hits a short completion. But look what position it puts them here in on third down. This is something they can handle. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Campbell takes down the quarterback. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time the defensive coordinator sends the blitz and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. Peterson's going to take this one from the 18. They'll mark him at the 29. Carter's the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. We'll head back to the field now after the injury timeout. Danielle Bellini is getting us the update on exactly what happened down there. It's a two tight end formation. First down at the 29. Ellington's taking the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Loss of three on the play. And here we have second down. Ellington lined up as the single back. He's wide open for the grab. The Cardinals are behind right now, but still have moved the ball through the air. Homer has been dropping back and finding targets so far. Yeah, you're seeing it right. They are behind, but it's not the fault of the offense. The offensive line giving this quarterback protection. And when you give him time, he's one of the best in the NFL. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Ellington's going to secure the handoff. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. So now as we go back to the field, we've got a good game going, and an offense is trying to close the gap before halftime. Second and short following the run. Ellington lined up as the single back. Dropping back three. And Fitzgerald's got it. First down. Good route that time by the receiver on the out route. Nice throw by the quarterback. This is what they call a timing route. Well, they were right on time. Palmer's completed his last six passes. First down at the 36. Complete to Floyd. That picks up 11. Cardinals have clearly been focusing on getting some of their big weapons involved here in the first half. Floyd's been a favorite of his quarterback, and he's proven why he deserves to be targeted so often today. You're right. He deserves to be targeted because he is one of the better wide receivers in the NFL, and when he catches it, look out. He can get yards after the catch. Wants to go deep. And it falls incomplete. Floyd's going to be so mad at himself for dropping that football because receivers, you never know when your chance is going to come. And then finally, you get open. They call a play where you're the, the primary guy. It's right there, and you drop it. Well, don't get down on yourself. Stay up. 
the football will come your way again. Here we go. Y the Cardinals will take the snap from the 25. Brown with the reception. Picks up eight here. The Cardinals signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. We're back, and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. Offense needs two yards here on third down after that pass play. Here we go. Blue 58. Blue 58. He'll take the snap from the gun. Jerron Brown makes the catch. And that's a gain of 10. The Cardinals are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. They will snap it now at the seven-yard line. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. From the gun. It's caught by John Brown. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You've got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Let's go, let's go. Blue 58, blue 58. Hey, hey, hey. Second and goal. And they get the sack. The Cardinals have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Play after play after play here on this drive. Here we go. Three, nine, Third and goal from the seven. Makes the grab. Touchdown. And just before the half, they battled back and tied the game. That could do a whole lot for the mood of that locker room at the break, Phil. No question, Jim. It just gives you an emotional lift to find a way to tie a football game up right before halftime. That was a nice drive and a good job done by the offense. The point after is good. The Buccaneers await the kick. As the game has been tied here late in the second quarter, scores 17 to 17.
the Cardinals getting ready for the kickoff. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Buccaneers offense coming back onto the field here, desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You're putting this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. One more snap and halftime. Takes the knee. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. As we look at the numbers, the only thing that really matters is that we've got a tie game. We'll have another half here to figure out who can come out on top. All right, let's get it going. Here's the first half highlights. Cardinals have it late in the second. The pass will be caught over the middle, and the pass and catch will end up going for 11 yards. Staying late in the half, Brown's the target on the quick pass, and he'll end up picking up eight yards on the play. Still late in the first half, the quick pass and completion is made, and he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the seven-yard line. Same drive, Floyd the catch over the middle. After the short pass, he'll score. Cardinals all tied now at 17. And with that, we'll wrap up our halftime report and head back out now to University of Phoenix Stadium for the start of the second half. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios and halftime. We're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. Buccaneers getting set to kick it away and we're underway in the second half of a very competitive game all tied up at the intermission and he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down the Buccaneers defense where was it the last time they could not stop the pass well they were trying I mean they were working as hard as they could but Hey, this group they're going against on offense, they're pretty good. with this play. Brown's got the catch and the first. The Cardinals rely on their passing game to lead them, and today it has. Palmer's been all but unstoppable. He has been unstoppable here today. You want to win it? Well, we, Jim, we always hear it's a quarterback-driven league, and we are seeing that in today's game. Across the middle. Lloyd takes the hit and is brought down. The Cardinals have been awesome today on first down. That time it's a nice play design. They throw the football, it picks up solid yards, second and short. Boy, that's what every offense likes to be in. 
Palmer's completed his last six passes. After that grab, it's now second down and two. Ellington is in the backfield. He'll throw it over the middle. Middle of the field and incomplete this time. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. Ellington's going to take the handoff now. Ellington's going to be mad at himself after that run. He picked the wrong hole. If he'd have went the other way, he would have had enough space to pick up the first down. He has stopped. Now it brings up fourth down. All set to punt here. It'll be a touchback. down at the 20 looking at every option intercepted the defense came out for the second half ready to go let's see if we can say the same thing about the offense with a chance to break the tie here well the defense went in at halftime in two things they got rested they got some knowledge from their coaches, and they came out here, and they got it done. Carson Palmer headed out to the huddle. He's been absolutely sensational today, Phil, showing us just how proficient he can be when he's in top four. Some guys are so good that they can just do anything they want on the field because they have so much talent, and that's what we're witnessing here today is just a guy loaded with talent. down at the 48 finds Gresham that's a gain of six Carter's still down so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment Danielle Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Here we go. Why, 18? Why, 18? Palmer's going to take it from the gun to the sideline and complete. Brown so fast, you have to back off of him. Why? Because you don't want him to run by you and go deep down the field. So that time he breaks the out route, the quarterback puts it right on target, and he makes the catch. Just short of the first down marker. 
Palmer's completion percentage, 70% on the day. The Buccaneers with a nickel look here on defense. The Cardinals have it at the 39. Ellington looking for space. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Ellington's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. The line of scrimmage, the 32-yard line. Ellington is in the backfield. First down at the 32. Ellington's got it on the handoff. Second down coming up. Palmer's got it in the gun. Looking to go deep. But they can't connect. Floyd's not able to come up with the catch. And a lot of times when you see a receiver drop a pass, they take their eyes off it. That's one thing. Or they're just trying to get it in their hands too quick. Why? Because they're trying to make some yards after the catch. That was the problem that time. Palmer standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Looking to go down the field here. This will be a field goal attempt from 49 yards out. The kick in. It's through there. The kick is good. Just out of halftime, and they take the lead with the field goal. Great adjustments at the half. Well, yeah, let, let, that's a good side. They, they made some nice adjustments. They got down there. They got some points, but you always worry in this league. Field goals, that could be uh, that could be the difference in the game. We'll see if it comes back to haunt them. Cardinals now getting ready to kick it away. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Cardinals' defense has definitely starred on this field today. Yeah, well, listen, they're playing very well on the defensive side. I will agree with that. But you know what I do not like is the fact that they're saying things to the offense like, pick it up, we need you guys to play well too. So just enjoy the fact that you're doing a good job here so far. will take the snap from the 25. Johnson's there that time for the tackle. Second down and two to go after the running play. Let's go. Out of the 
of the shotgun. Throws the pass. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. is just thrown away. They're in punting formation. Peterson with a chance to return this one. He's tackled right at the 31. Looking at some of these stats now, it's surprising to see how much the passing game has fallen off since the start of this one, Phil. Yeah, there's a lot of answers to that, Jim. First off, the coverage has been better. The pass rush has picked up. And the biggest thing of all, the quarterback is just off target. Quarters formation here for the defense. First down at the 31. McCoy with the sack. Well, defensive tackles so many times are in charge of stopping a run, but not this time. The big fellow, good move at the snap of the football, gets in that backfield and gets the sack. And now they'll try over again on second down. Here we go. Wide, 18. Wide, 18. Ellington's hand at the football. Taken down at the 21. Ellington's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Third down now. Homer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. When you blitz on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high, but the rush, they're quick enough. They get there, and they sack the QB. Butler will be called on now to punt the football. He wants to return this one. Has 12 on this play. The Cardinals have been all about defense here of late. Three and out the last time they were on the field. Yeah, it was a really good drive by them, just stopping the offense so quick. And uh, it looked every aspect worked well. The coaches had to be really happy with the defense. The Cardinals with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 49. He's got the catch. And he's brought down right at the 43. That's his first reception today. The Buccaneers coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football. But no, they come out on first down, they throw it. They pick up solid yards. Good job by them. The line of scrimmage, the 43-yard line. Oh, 
It's second down and three. Doug Martin carries the football. The Buccaneers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. First down at the 41. Martin up the middle. And he is brought down at the 39. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Martin's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second down following the run. The Cardinals defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Incomplete. Peterson was in the vicinity. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. Drop back, shotgun formation. Knocked down as he fires it. The Buccaneers really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. The Buccaneers will punt the football away. The punt is kicked out of bounds. The Cardinals weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive plays. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business. Well, that's a bad business to be in. I know, I get in a lot of bad businesses. The Buccaneers defense now right is going to go nickel. Palmer's back in shotgun formation. Fitzgerald's got the catch on the touch throw. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Coming to the line at the 50. Ellington lined up as the single back. First down at the 50. Ellington's tackle right at the 42. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job on the offensive line. Breaking huddle coming to the line at the 42. The Buccaneers lined up in the nickel. Second down, two to go. The reception by Jermaine Gresham. Jenkins is there to make the tackle. Cardinals really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. Coming to the line at the 25. First down at the 25. Looking across the middle. 
Fitzgerald is brought down. Fitzgerald seemingly caught everything thrown his way today, Phil. He has caught everything thrown his way, Jim. Listen, this guy has some of the best hands in the NFL. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. First and ten. It's the old counter play. Ellington is tackled down. Only manages to get about a yard that time. I guess you'd say he's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, he can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go, so only gets a couple yards this time. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Two tight ends on the field here. Stands in the pocket. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And now that we're almost in the fourth and they've just increased their lead, could it be time to rest the starters, Phil? Oh, no, Jim. Not even close to that yet. we got a long way to go. You've seen it many times in the NFL. Big leads have a way of just disappearing. So uh, I don't, I'm not counting this one over by any means. Cardinals ready here for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And the tackles made right around the 25 yard line. The Buccaneers haven't had a very productive drive in quite a while here, Phil. Do they need to switch things up to get this train rolling again? Absolutely. Switch it up. Switch up the play call. Show some different formations. Try to catch the defense by surprise. If you do that, that's going to greaten your chances of having success. down at the 25 has the grab that's a gain of eight that's his first reception today the Buccaneers coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down the pass catches the defense off guard they pick up solid yards now it's second and short after that grab it's now second down and two They try to convince them otherwise, but that's a false start on the offense. False start, offense. Still second down. Second down and seven. Grabs it with one hand. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Buccaneers have it at the 44. And it's batted down. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. 
Second down here. Takes it from the gun. Mike Evans makes the play. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The Buccaneers do a really good job this time on offense. The quarterback throws the ball short. They pick up a few yards and now it makes third down much easier. Third and two coming up. Martin lines up in the backfield. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Well, it's fourth and short here near midfield at the end of the game. You're down by more than one score. I think it's an easy decision. There are a lot worse situations you could be in to go for it. This is one. I think all the odds are on your side. Do it, Coach. They're set to punt it away now. And he punts it, and it's going to sail out of bounds, trying to play kick away from that dangerous returner. The Cardinals offense preparing to get this drive underway. The last possession ended in a touchdown. Phil, let's see if they can do it again. Very well done. Love what I saw out there on the offense the last time. They mixed it up and they showed a lot of confidence. You can see the speed of the football team and try to duplicate what they just did. The Buccaneers go with the dime formation here on defense. The Cardinals snap it at the 26. is a tight end but lined up in the backfield for this play second down and ten they go draw Ellington's tackled down at the 36 he's averaging about four yards a carry if you're running back and you want more carries do things like this read the defense right read the blocking and pick up first downs that's a really good job by the running back Palmer's alone in the backfield. Get ready. Who's with you? Ready. The Cardinals snap it at the 36. Scans the field. Intercepted. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. The Cardinals defense got tested on that last drive, but eventually it led to a punt. Yeah, it was an awesome job by the defense. They really did a lot of things correct. They hustled. They played hard. That is the cornerstones of any good defense. down at the 48 scanning the field makes the catch but didn't get the feet down incomplete what a good job by the offensive line they gave the quarterback all day to throw it he just couldn't put it on target after the incomplete pass it brings up second down the Buccaneers come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. 
It's intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. And there is Carson Palmer. He's been absolutely sensational today, Phil, showing us just how proficient he can be when he's in top form. Some guys are so good that they can just do anything they want on the field because they have so much talent, and that's what we're witnessing here today is just a guy loaded with talent. Ellington lined up as the single back. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 45. It's caught by Michael Floyd. Gets about nine on the play. Things haven't changed from when I played till now. When it's zone coverage, quarterbacks, offensive coordinator, and receivers, they expect a completed pass, and that's what they got in this last play. Second and two coming up. The third quarter comes to a close, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Cardinals are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. It's now second down. Right now. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The Cardinals have created chances for themselves in the passing attack today. Palmer's had a huge performance in this one. When you talk about creating opportunities, that's where you have to give credit to the coaching staff. They have helped the players. The play designs have been good, and the players are taking advantage of it. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And he's thrown to the ground. Man, this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job, makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. That leads us to second down. Here we go. Blue 58. Blue 58. Ellington's taking the handoff. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Third down following the run. The Buccaneers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Palmer's going to take it from the gun. Takes the hit and throws. The Cardinals don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. The Cardinals will punt the football. That beautifully executed punt now really will help out this defense, forcing the opposition to start the next drive inside the 10. 
the Buccaneers. Bill, what's the issue with this team, this offense specifically? Three straight drives without a score. Well, Jim, I'd say this. It's bad coaching. I, I just hate what they're trying to do on the offensive side. They're not putting their players in position to give them a chance to compete against this defense. They've got to, they've got to change things up, give their offense a chance, and give these players a chance. The Cardinals sat at the line. Dime package. Snap it out of the gun. Surveys. With two hands, he has it. The defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up, make the tackle. Good job that time. Second and eight coming up. The Buccaneers come to the line with an empty backfield. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. And it's spotted away. Well, but there's man-to-man -man coverage on the defensive side. And the defense does a job like this where they are covering those receivers. There is nothing the quarterback can do except that. Oh, another incomplete pass. Third and eight coming up after the incompletion. The Cardinals with a nickel look here on defense. Let's go. Out of the shotgun formation. Jackson's got it and a first. That's reception number four for him. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much. And he throws it there and gets another completion. First down here. The Cardinals come out in a dime package. Out of the gun. Makes the grab and the feet are down. Well, the corner route. Some people call it the corner route. They call it a flag, run to the flag of the end zone, or a seven route. Odd numbers break out. That time we see a nice route by the receiver and a good throw by the quarterback. This play set up by the long gainer. Let's go. They'll go shotgun here. Trying to hook up with Jackson that time, but this pass goes incomplete. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. The Cardinals will come out in the dime. Let's go. From the shotgun. Doug Martin with the grab. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. You can only take what the defense gives you. Even though the offense is down here in the fourth quarter, they throw it short. That was a smart play. This is third down. From the shotgun. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. The Cardinals with two extra defensive backs in the dime. it into his body now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field uh, 
Uh, I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunate for them, they got it that time. First down here after the completion. From the gun. Makes the catch. What a nice job on the catch this time and breaking the tackle and getting those extra yards. When you make plays like that, if I was the quarterback, I'd give you a few more chances with the football. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Let's go. First, and the First, and the First and ten. Got drilled as he throws it. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties. Make one of them move and still throw it deep down the field. Marching down the field and taking their time. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. The Buccaneers from the 27. In completion here as he was looking over the middle. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The Cardinals' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense from the gun. Makes the catch, and that'll close the gap. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth and we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them that's how they're able to get open and make so many catches the Buccaneers lined up now for the point after An extra point is good The Buccaneers offense did their job on that last drive. They moved the ball down the field almost the entire length. It was all thanks to a great passing attack. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. Johnson's got it. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Well, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the football this time. How about that return? by the return team. Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Phil, this quarterback matchup has been a great one today as both have put on quite a show. Yeah, it's been a great matchup between the quarterbacks. And look, I think the league is loaded with really good quarterbacks. I'm tired of hearing people say, oh, the league doesn't have enough guys. Yeah, they do. There are a lot of good ones. Give them time and they'll show it to you. This next play coming from the 47-yard line. The Buccaneers' defense now is going to go nickel. Three-step drop. Michael Floyd hauls it in. Games 16. That's reception. Number seven for him. The Cardinals have had a big number one option at wideout today. 
Floyd's been heavily involved, and for good reason. Well, what you do, you always look at a defense and see our strength against their weakness, and that's what they found. The guy catching the football is just better than the guy covering it. They come to the line, and it's first down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Palmer's got it in the gun. Here's Brown. Brown's able to get the job done and picks up the first down. My gosh, the wide receivers in the end up now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Let's go. Let's go. First down at the 17. Ellington's going to secure the handoff. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Well, not many yards to get there on that play, but it doesn't matter. What a day and what a job this running back has, has done here. Coming up to the line at the 13-yard line. Get ready. Two, 95. Two, 95. Second down and six. On target with Michael Floyd. Floyd's tackled down after a gain of 12. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. a foot away. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. They are all over him, behind the line of scrimmage, and a loss of one. Oh, my gosh, it is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football, and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. Just two yards to go. Let's go, let's go. Two, 58. Second and goal from the two-yard line. Ball is out, and the recovery is made by the defense. Tackles made. Hold on to the football. Don't let the first defender come at you. Just reach in there and pull it right out. The Cardinals allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change them this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. The Cardinals go with the dime formation here on defense. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 25. Makes the catch in open space. Tackle down at the 47. The Buccaneers just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun.
The Buccaneers come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Looking at every option. The catch is made. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. The Buccaneers did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Coming to the line at the 27. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. He'll take the snap from the gun. Looking long. Makes the catch. Touchdown. And how clutch was that score right there, partner, when they absolutely had to have it to get the touchdown? Clutched by the offense. Now let's see if the defense can deal with the pressure. Can they go out there and answer the bell and finish this game off? We'll find out. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. It's good. The Buccaneers kicking team comes out now as the offense takes a break, and they deserve one after going down the field, mainly through the air with over 70 yards passing. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. And he'll start his return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Cardinals are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. The Cardinals will come to the line. Still a very close game here in the fourth quarter. The score's 31-27. to Ellington lined up as the single back. First down at the 29. And Fitzgerald's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. The Cardinals, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Palmer's now completed four in a row. First down at the 50. Andre Ellington with the reception. And that's a gain of nine. The Cardinals still trail, but as we look at the passing numbers, it's hard to find much fault with them. Palmer's numbers, though, speak to a team that could be winning if other things, like their defense, were doing their part here, partner. Well, yeah, that's right. The defense has got to hold their end up, but the offense, they've been very, very good. The quarterback has been accurate. He has been smart, and that always gives you a chance when your quarterback is playing that well. Ellington with the grab. The 
Cardinals look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Palmer's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Ellington is in the backfield. Let's go, let's go. First down at the 34. He'll throw it over the middle. That's a gain of seven. The Cardinals in both the first and second halves have featured this wide out. Fitzgerald's done everything asked of him today, Phil. Well, this league is loaded with really tremendous wide receivers, and we are watching one of the best. He can do everything with the football. The Buccaneers sat at the line. Dime package. Second down, three to go. Here's the handoff. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. The Cardinals just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Breaking huddle at the 23-yard line. These guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. The Cardinals take it from the 23. This play will hold up. He's inbounds. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Play number six coming up on this drive. Time and this one's running out and the defense knows it needs another stop. First and goal. Has his man. Games five. That's his first reception today. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Second down now. Goal line defense on the field. Blue 58. Blue 58. Hey, hey. Ellington's going to take the and he's in for the touchdown. the upper hand now with just a little time to go thanks to that touchdown good job by the offense good play calling by the offensive coordinator now let's see if the defense can go out there and shut this thing down the Arizona Cardinals for the extra point and the extra point is good Palmer certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. Getting ready to kick it away. And the tackle is made right around the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers will try to continue this scoring onslaught as a shootout has developed on both sides of the field. I have a little advice for the offensive coordinator. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Keep the pedal to the metal. Your players are playing great, and let them keep rolling.
This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. Stands in the pocket. Evans brought down after picking up 11 on this play. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. First down. Pressure on every snap now. The Buccaneers are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. First down and ten. Tried to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. Seeing these stats, Bill, you really look at them and have to go, wow, because both teams are just playing so well on the offensive side of the ball. I know that's what the fans are doing. They love these type of games. High scoring, a lot of action. They're having a good time. I know this, the defense, it's the other way around. They are having an awful time. The Buccaneers snap it at the 36. Jackson's going to pull in the bullet pass. That's reception. Number seven for him. Good job of hurrying up and getting on that football and trying to get the playoff. Don't use the timeout here. Good clock management. Snap that football. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. That's a good job by the offense and the coaching staff. You got to go with the hurry up offense here. You're, you're down a few points late in the game. You got to get down there and score. Evans is unable to bring that pass in, Jim. He just took his eyes off the football. I mean, to do that, it's usually going to result in a drop. And those things happen. It's not a perfect game. You got to overcome adversity. I think this guy will do it. Next time it comes this way, he'll make the catch. The Cardinals come out in a dime package. From the gun. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. It would appear they'll get the ball back here deep into this fourth quarter and give the offense another shot to take it down the field. The game is on the line, no question here. And offensive players, especially quarterbacks, always say it. I want the football in my hands to determine the outcome. Well, you got it, big boy. Let's see what you can do. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 40. Two hands on the football and has the catch. The offense converts on fourth down just when the defense was looking to put this game away. They can't get too excited on the offensive side. You got that first down. Now you got to go out there and finish the job. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Doug Martin. Greeny's there to take him down. The Buccaneers coming to the line. Still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter. Let's go. Out of the shotgun. Throws the pass. Murphy's tackled down after a gain of seven. A critical moment in this game as it's third down. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with the hurry up offense. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. Well, the defense was trying to come up with the big stop there, but 
the offense is able to keep the chains moving. Well, there's just no panic in the offense when you see what they've done so far here today, Jim. They kept their heads about them, and they just calmly executed that third down play. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Turn here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning the game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. The Cardinals offense getting ready to start this drive, and things are looking good for them at this stage of the game, partner. Yeah, this is where it gets tough, though, Jim. they got to find a way, make the right play call to get one first down. If you do that, that puts the other team in a very tough situation. at the 20. Ellington's got it on the handoff. The Buccaneers will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. Following that timeout, defense back out on the field. Second down here after that run play. Let's go, let's go. Two, 95. Two, 95. Hand off made. Johnson's able to read that play and make the hit. The Buccaneers will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. Third down. Leach is a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Johnson's handed the football. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Buccaneers stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. The defense needed to slow this game down. That timeout might be very useful. Now they're ready to go. set to punt here. Fields it cleanly and starts his return. Gains 12. And he'll go back to the sideline, kicking himself 
that they could not find a way to get the first down and kept the drive going as they were on their way for what appeared to be a winning drive. Well, there's a lot of people to blame on that drive. I don't think anybody did a good job. The offensive line, the receivers, and the quarterback, they're all at fault. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Dropping back now into the shotgun. What a catch. They'll have to rush now as he's taken down. Well, there's just no other option for the offense right here. They got to go to the hurry up because they have no timeouts left. So get as many plays off as you can. The game on the line right here. He hits this, and we're going to overtime. The game on the line right here. He hits this, and we're going to overtime. And it's good. Clutch kick at the right moment. The field goal is good, and it looks like we're going to be playing extra time here. Overtime likely on the way. Yeah, give the offense a lot of credit that time driving down the field and the field goal kicker he comes through he did not let the pressure get to him that time The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. He'll take it from the one. And he's tackled. We're going to be headed to overtime as they will not get another playoff in time. Time has run out in regulation. And yes, indeed, we are going to overtime. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal, the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. The Cardinals are ready to kick it away. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. 
adjustments have obviously been made as this game has moved on, Phil, as we have a wide receiver who lit it up early and now does not seem to be in the game plan. Well, it took a while, but the defense has finally smartened up. They see where the football was going, so they've got tighter coverage, and also they're being much more aggressive on the defensive side, and that's helped a lot. The Cardinals will come out in the dime. He'll take the first snap here in overtime. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. And that's a gain on that play of about four. Martin's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. This will be second down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Slashing to the right side. And he is tackled at the 44. Setting up now at the 44-yard line. The first down following the long play. Gets the handle here. Buchanan's in on the tackle. Martin's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. To the two yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Martin is in the backfield. Let's go. Right for the yard. Right for the yard. Three, three, five. Launches it down the field. Able to reach up and grab it. Third catch today so far. How about how high it went up in the air to get that one? Unbelievable job that time. And again, that's part of every offense now in the NFL. It wasn't like that when I played. We didn't have guys that could go up and make catches like that. The defense at this point trying to keep him out of the end zone. Here's the first snap after the big play. Lanes taking the handoff. It's a walk-off touchdown beyond belief. Bill Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance, saying so long.